Hello and welcome back to my Crafts World Let's Play series. And I have just realized something because I usually when I, before I start recording, I launch the game of course and I get into the world and I immediately pause the game. But I have just realized something. I don't know if it's a bug or, or what, but um, the game is paused and this goes down. Not this, which yes, is only one minute remaining, but this. The counter for when my mana will replenish, I think. So I'll stay past because there's a few things I want to talk about and let's see if that goes over what. So in the last episode, we started building this little house here. I will, I think, move it up one just because it will look much nicer. We also made these um, lights here, out here, and I will most likely be placing more of them out in the world so we can see what is going on. Now we have one minute estimated before the, well, one minute and 37 seconds estimated before the next monster wave and I believe it will be over here somewhere. Now I actually don't know if it will come in the water or if it will, yeah see, it just replenished some of my mana. Wonder if that's a bug or not. Hmm. Anyways. I think the portal will spawn on the left again, which will both be our advantage but also our disadvantage because our door is right here first. Second, we have only two two blocks and then a block up and then two blocks and then the rest is water which is hard to fight in. Now the question is, if I unpause it, can I order stone to be placed? Quickly, guys, quickly. He's carrying one. Yes, it can. So if I then place this, what then? What did that guy just go trying doing? <laughs> okay, let's see, can it be placed? Yes, it can, and I think they will go and place the other one. Okay, but I will just let them do that real quick and then I'll pause because we have 50 seconds before the next monster wave, which is our second monster wave in this series. And that chicken, oh, they can't swim, can they? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I just want to be ready for when, then, when this comes. I do not expect us to get a new dwarf when we defeat it, or at least not in the middle of the battle of it, so... Or in the middle of the battle. Eh. Okay, so we have 24. Now, one thing I didn't do in the last episode is to check on their health and hunger. Like Jasper is kind of low, but the good thing is he's one of our archers, so that's good. Now, the good thing here we have fire arrows, so I want our three archers here. So let's just see. One, two, three. Yes, three archers. I will allow them to use fire arrows. So just click on that. There we go. Does everyone else have their gear on? Yes, we did not select one as our mage. But I think I will actually wait till we get one with the mage skill. Which I actually don't know if if that is even possible getting one with the mage skill. But we'll see. Um, yeah. You know what? We are ready. We do not have time to make any of the basic fortifications here. We will just have to do with what we got and work with what we have and also we started using as i said advanced illuminating and make making these lighting stands and also we discovered this elf dude down here which we will have to take care of later because he is very strong i've heard so okay so we are nine seconds away and one quick thing this guy is leaving that's fine this guy is outside uh, I guess he's scouting for when the <laughs> portal will arrive. But this down here is called a the horn spell. And the amazing 
thing about that is, if I click on it, this spell calls dwarves together in a specific place to attack or defend something together, for example, which is exactly what I will be using it for once I know where this will spawn. So let's see, where will it spawn? Yes, it spawned over here, and this is kind of good, because that means our archers can get in line here. So, I will tell them all to get here. So everyone is marching, even this guy was that was sleeping. And I guess the archers will on their own start firing. So we have actually some pretty armored guys here. Now, one of them will have to get stuck here. I really hope the archers will actually start shooting. <laughs> okay. So we have some enemy archers here. They are all in the water, which is perfect. Um, these guys are just weird with their weird hoodie or whatever it is on their heads. Okay, so here is because they don't have a skeleton with shield. Well, they have one down here, but they don't have one on up front. They try to break this block so they so that they can jump up. Now, because this guy has a shield, we will now have a problem. Wow, we are... Okay, the battle is on. <laughs> uh, can't really see what's going on because they're all clamped together. But I believe they, I saw some fire arrows fly around. Okay, let's get these guys down here. Let's get that fat ugly guy over there too. Okay, we're firing down. Yeah, you just you can just see the flame there. That is actually very What is that? Some rune thing. I don't know what it is actually. Let's do that. We we actually defeated the portal. That was way easier than I had expected. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Okay. I had expected a bigger fight and bigger... Yeah. A bigger fight, but... Yeah, you're right, Chicken. That was... Not much difficulty. Alright then. Well, I guess we'll upgrade the house and do some mining. <laughs> oh. If that battle was... Wait a second, what are you attacking? Oh, that thing. Now that the battle is actually over, we want our guys to stop using fire arrows. So we did use 23, which isn't that bad, I think. We have 100 to spare, which is nice. We can make more if we get more chickens, I think. Okay, I want these spiders dead. We have two big ones and a smaller one. So how about we make a portal here? Let's extend it right away, and let's kill these spiders. They're in our mine shaft. So I really hope the archers will get in here. I could enable the fire arrows, but I don't think I will do that just for the spiders. Also, I want to get rid of all this cobweb. It's, yeah, even though it's a mine shaft, then, all right, yeah, let's get rid of these guys. I think they can cause a problem later in the future. There we go. You know what? You can leave that. Yeah. Just leave that. Nice. Okay, so we definitely want some torches down here. I didn't do that in the last episode. So let's put a torch here. And let's also get the iron that's down here. And let's start getting some of this silver here. So let's get that too. And I suppose start digging down here. And I suppose we can put down some ladders. There we go. Uh, here. Yeah, here and here. And also, I saw when I was editing the last episode that I accidentally removed those two ladders. I was trying to get the ores that was behind them, but apparently I failed at that. What book is this? Fisher's book. Okay. Let's get some of this going. And let's also put a... Yeah, let them just... 
climb a bit. I'll put a torch down here as well. Now this allows us actually to get easy access to the ant's nest over here. Just making a tunnel, tunnel over here and we can start taking care of these guys and getting some of the, for example, gold. I cannot explore that. There's another dungeon thing down here. But I'm not sure what it is, if it's just one of these or what. But we'll have to see. Let's stick that out as well. We're getting silver here that we actually can't even use yet because we don't have any recipes that require requires it except for the better or enhanced portal or whatever it's called that it's only available for multiplayer and biome changing, so I'm actually not sure. Can open portals to biomes and multiplayer games using a special spells. I don't actually know what it will do, I will have to do some research, but we do need gold for that, so let's not worry about that just yet. Let's put a torch here. There we go. Also we have these weird, I don't know if the, they are doors or just like decorations, but we will also have to find that out when we take over some of these places. These guys shouldn't be too hard to beat. I think we would be able to do it, but I think I will wait just a little bit more. But it is some cool, there are some cool stuff in here that we might be able to use. Okay, let's get that, let's get that too. We have more silver down here, which is nice. Yeah, let's just make an, an extended portal here because I am planning on using, doing a bit more mining in this direction actually. So let's do that. I am aware that we are very close to this, but I will be careful not to go beyond this, these blocks here. I also see more silver and more gold down here. Cool. All right. I want to do some things here. And I think what I will do is actually, hmm, well, okay, I want some dirt actually, I, I need some dirt to do this, because in the last episode I took control of one, but I don't want to do that now, so if I, I can't do that, if I just for now place some dirt here, and then make some more ladders. Then I can do so that they can climb up easily and remove the roof. And then extend it one more. So, wait, can I just, oh, stop, don't place it, just put the ladders, there we go. Easy access, and how are we doing down here? Getting fairly close, actually. Dangerously close, almost. Let's get this. There we go. Looks like we might have a cave down here. But I'm still too far away. Okay, let's... Hmm. Can I now take... No, I don't think I can take what's behind the ladder there. That doesn't matter. Um... Did they make those? Yes. Now remove this roof and quick. They should be more strategical yeah. about that. <laughs> well, they just cut off their own. Wow, they can climb on that? Cool. Okay. I guess I didn't need the ladder then. Yeah, you should be. You should be smarter about that. Anyways, let's put some more stone at these ends here. Yeah. These guys are not always... Yeah. These guys are not always as... They're not always using their brains as they could. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should have done it manually. Oh, almost done, almost done guys. Calm down. Let's put stuff here. 
Now this will be the new roof. Now I will remove this layer down here as soon as possible. So let's do that. I want don't want the water here actually. Let's see what's the status at the mine. So we do have a portal here, so let's just take this out. And then I don't think I will go any further. And I could actually put some... Oh! <laughs> Let's get a torch down there. That was easy, easily done. Cool. Yeah, let them mine away at that. And let's focus on this again. So... Almost getting there. Almost. I can't wait till we get these scaffoldings because that will make building like this way easier. Speaking of, let us try to complete basic illuminating. So for that we need... wait... <laughs> man! So for that we need wall lamp or portable lamp. Nah, wall lamp. Wait, portable lamp. What does that do? Portable lamp. Increases the efficiency of the miner skill. Hmm. I might just make one of those actually. That's not it. Portable lamp. There we go. So for that we need two iron ore, one oil, and two glass. I guess that's fine. There we go. And let's make some wall lamps actually. There we go. We're getting three per operation. I don't want them right now though. Let's just see. I do want some more of these. So lighting stands. Let's just do that, do that, do that, and do that. Let's make four of those. So when they are complete, we should get... Um, we should get that advanced illuminating complete though what we need as well is basic fortifications now I want to do that but we need to get rid of some of this water here so I will actually start placing down dirt which I cannot maybe just there maybe I don't know if that's possible we'll have to see Okay, not doing too too bad. Yes, we do have a whoops. We do have a mine we do have a mine cave or something down here. A cave. We have gold, lots of gold, and another ant's nest. And this over here I believe is I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> I was going to say mithril, but I think that right there is mithril. So yeah, I think it was wrong. It might just be some sort of crystal. Interesting. Okay, so... We need to be active up here, because otherwise they will just stand there doing nothing. Um, let's also get someone to take that bush out. And we have an incoming zombie, too, actually. And... That guy is shooting the zombie. That's fine with me. Put that dirt there. That's actually kind of fun. <laughs> He's chasing him back to base. Okay. Now we can get more stone placed. There we go. And that. We're getting there slowly but steady. And that guy is coming with some dirt. There we go. Place it down, buddy. You can do it. Or not. Fine. Now we lost the comfort because I think we broke the roof up here, obviously, so it's no longer part of the home. But as soon as it's done, we should be back at, um, at 51 or 59 or whatever it was. I don't remember. Alrighty. What? We have a zombie breaking 
our new house. Get out of here, zombie. Not nice. Okay, you know what? I actually think I will uh, take control of the wolf here because that's just too slow for for my pace. So let's just remove. Wait, can't remove them. All right. So he's taking a stone there, and I will on my own do that and do that. That we will need more stone, I think. I think we might need more stone. Or not. Eh. Yeah, don't worry. You can climb walls. There we go. We might just have enough. I think we do. I think we have just enough. Yes, we had just enough. All right, release. Good. Not bad. Also, I actually wanted to extend this. Uh, yeah. See, we're back at comfort. Good, fifty-one percent. That's nice. All right, so we're back at the technology tree or the tech tree for short, in short, and we are missing just a little bit on this so let's make some more wall lamps here and not wall lamps but wall lamps <laughs> there we go and we completed this now we have unlocked advanced furnishing and furnishing yeah furnishing and advanced processing so fabric paper steel which will then lead to, I think, advanced armor. Yeah, expert furnishing and advanced armor and expert construction, which also gives us these wooden towers, which can shoot arrows. And we can actually make this steel now, which is cool. And it costs two coal and two iron. But you know what? I think I'm gonna call it an episode right here. We made some progress down in the mines, we discovered gold and even mithril and some crystals, I think it is. And we yeah, defeated our second monster wave with ease actually, and I can see that we need some more food down here. And also we extended the house, so I think that's a pretty good episode. I will most likely do this up here off camera and also fix these torches, I think. And maybe the placement of these things as well, off camera, without recording it, because it can be a little bit boring. But I guess in the next episode we will be back in the tech tree, completely making basic fortifications, and also I might do some of this stuff here, removing some of the some of the water and stuff from over here, so we can actually have a flat ground to fight on. And yeah. I might actually level this with the house and then make a door up here, but I'm not sure about if I'm going to do that or not. But we'll see. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends, and if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a nice day. Bye bye.